my most traumatic childhood memory. Oh, that's easy. We were at the beach. Uh, me and my mom, I was about seven. I, re I remember my mom saying, let's take a walk. So I said, okay. I didn't really want to. I was just being nice, but she couldn't tell. So we start heading down to the water and I'm already thinking, this kind of sucks. I mean, I'm walking funny, my legs are, my legs are starting to chafe. It's just... So we're walking along and she finds this awesome shell. And it's like, okay, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I wish I would have been the one to find it. So we keep walking along and then she finds this another amazing shell. And I think at that point I started to resent it a little bit, you know? It's like, who wouldn't? So we keep walking and she finds another one. And even at that age, it's like, I'm a little kid. Are you just rubbing it in my face? I mean, I get it. You're better at finding shells than me. So eventually, it's like, I don't want to look at these shells anymore. Um, I'm, I'm right there with you. Just wait half a second and let me pick it up or, or let me stumble across and then find it. I'm right there with you. So then she finds the sand dollar, I mean the crown jewel of, of shells, and I nearly stroked out. That's, that's when I learned what it felt like to feel true rage. So we keep walking along, but finally, finally I spotted it. Um, in the distance, looked like the biggest, most unique shell I had ever seen. I ran over to it. I said, Mom, look what I found. And her reaction was, Oh my God, what the hell? That's a piece of shit. What's wrong with you? What the fuck were you thinking? I said, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And that's why I don't go to the beach. Or talk to my mom.